If you guys love playing daily fantasy sports, make sure to use code Bengal at sign up on FanDuel for a $20 deposit bonus. What's going on, guys? Bengal again here, coming back at you with another video today, back on Madden NFL 19 franchise mode for another draft class video, as you guys can tell from the title and thumbnail. This is, of course, the 2007 NFL draft class. And in my opinion, and you guys, you know, feel free to disagree with this. Let me know down in the comments section below. I think this is the best draft class in NFL history. I know the 83 draft class is phenomenal. I know the 2001 class, which we had a video on, is very good. We've made videos on those classes already. You guys can check them out in the playlist on the channel uh, or search them up, however you want to do that. But the 2007 draft class is just filled with some of the best players I've ever seen. And, you know, kind of growing up in that time period and watching these players play through their primes has been phenomenal. But let's go ahead and show you guys uh, what that real draft class looked like before we put it into Madden. So, obviously, this is one of the like the best draft classes for a few reasons. One, because of how it's loaded with talent, but also it probably includes the biggest draft bust in NFL history back when guaranteed contracts were thrown out to rookies um, like Jamarcus Russell. You would sign contracts instead of having like the rookie minimum deals or the rookie deals that they have nowadays so Jamarcus Russell was drafted by the Raiders number one overall and was then paid a boatload of money Jamarcus Russell only played three seasons 2007 8 and 09 with the Raiders and then never played again in the NFL here was his contract 61 million 32 million guaranteed for a rookie that played three seasons not only with the Raiders but in the entire NFL his career uh, numbers over three years 4,000 yards 18 touchdowns 23 interceptions 25 fumbles not the best in my opinion the biggest draft bust in NFL history but then we have some of the greatest players ever Joe Thomas taking number three to the Browns one of the best offensive tackles in NFL history Calvin Johnson one of the best receivers in NFL history has the record for most yards in a season of course 2012 2011 2013 the early 2010s, Calvin Johnson was incredible. Six-time Pro Bowler, absolute athletic freak. He was a stud. My favorite player of all time, Adrian Peterson. I think the best pure runner in NFL history. And now I know that like Ladanian Tomlinson's a more elite back. I think Adrian Peterson is just a better Jim Brown. And I know that sounds crazy, but Adrian Peterson, he's nearing the top 10 in career rushing yards. He's nearing the top 10. If he's, I think he's actually in the top 10 for career rushing touchdowns. Seven-time Pro Bowler, four-time first-team All-Pro, NFL MVP as a running back in 2012, Rookie of the Year, three-time rushing yards leader, three-time rushing touchdown or two-time rushing touchdowns leader, has the most rushing yards ever in a game with 296 against the Chargers in 07, his rookie year, I believe. Maybe it was 08. I think it was 07. Tremendous, tremendous talent. We also have Patrick Willis, one of the best linebackers in his time. Obviously, didn't play really long enough to cement himself probably as a Hall of Famer. I hope he gets in. I love Patrick Willis. I love a lot of players in this class. Him and Ray Lewis have been the two best linebackers in the NFL over the past 20 years. Marshawn Lynch with the Bills was not that great, but then when he got traded to the Seahawks for like, I think it was a fourth round pick, turned into a monster, Darrell Revis. One of the best cornerbacks of this generation. Lawrence Timmons is a pro bowler. Michael Griffin out of Texas took him horns. And myself being a Giants fan and a huge Texas Longhorns fan, I know that seems kind of weird. I'm not going to explain it all in this video. There is a video on my channel I did like a year or two ago where I talk about why my favorite teams are my favorite teams. Long story short, a lot of family in Texas grew up a Texas Longhorn fan uh, in the New York, New Jersey area. But you'd think Aaron Ross to the Giants would be a match made in heaven. And I loved Aaron Ross at Texas. Aaron Ross sucked on the Giants so bad. Michael Griffin, beast. Reggie Nelson, one of the best safeties over the past couple of years, or past several years. He's like 40 now. Brady Quinn, huge draft bust. A lot of busts here. Amobi Okoye, um, Levi Brown, Gaines Adams, huge busts as well. They never turned in anything. Uh, Dwayne Bowe, somewhere over the Dwayne Bowe, was a good receiver for a number of years. Brandon Merriweather. John Beeson was also so good with the Panthers before injury when uh, he got replaced by Luke Keekley, who was a beast. Anthony Spencer, pro bowler. Joe Staley, Ben Grubbs, Greg Olson, tremendous. Paul Puzlesny, Eric Weddle's been one of the best safeties. Zach Miller, Sidney Rice, Justin Blaylock was a good guard out of Texas. Lamar Woodley, Dwayne Jarrett was kind of a bust. 
Justin Durant was good for a number of years. Giant Steve Smith out of USC. So he was good for a couple of years. Ryan Khalil was a beast. And I hate to like spend so much time going over this before we actually bring it into Madden. But this draft class was so loaded. Jacoby Jones, fantastic returner for the Ravens. Drafted by the Texans. Marshall Yonda, one of the best guards in the NFL the past 10 years. Brandon Meebane was pretty good, or is pretty good. Uh, Trent Edwards is an interesting quarterback. It's pretty much all you can say about him. Who else is in here? Paul Soliai. Zach Diossi has been a Pro Bowl long snapper with the Giants for a number of years now. Jermon Bushrod. Deshaun Goldson was such a hard-hitting safety. LaRon McLean, only fullback to have like a 1,000 yards rushing or something like that uh, in modern day. Can we find stats for that? Two-time Pro Bowler. He rushed for like a 1,000 yards one year. I swear to God, he did something ridiculous. Whatever. We'll come back to it at a later date, perhaps. Corey Graham has been a good cornerback slash safety with the Bills and the Ravens. And um, the Eagles now, of course. He's with the Eagles. And Nick Folk's been a good kicker, except for recently he wasn't so great. William Gay. Of course, Clint Oldenburg with EA Sports with Madden. Shout out to you, Clint, if you're watching this. You actually might be. I don't know. How you doing? Brennan Fields was a good punter with the Dolphins, still is. Um, is he still with the Dolphins? He's out of the league. Wow, he was so good with the Saints, or excuse me, with the Dolphins for a number of years. Um, Clark Harris, I don't know who that is. I'm not going to lie to you. Ahmad Bradshaw was great with the Giants for a couple years. Eric Weems, good uh, special teamer in here. Any notable undrafted? Matt Overton, long snapper, South Roca. James Ahedabo has been pretty good. Mike DeVito was actually pretty great with the Chiefs for a bit um but other than that i don't think there are any particular studs we went over a lot of players because there are a lot of really really good players throughout every round but let's go ahead take this back into madden back in business as we rotate across the screen the raiders had the number one overall pick we are going to start with the raiders and start going over this draft class try to draft some studs see how they perform over this season all right, so let's go ahead and import our file that we downloaded. I've downloaded a lot of classes, so you guys likely will see videos on maybe all of these. I don't know, but uh, is there not a 2007 one I have downloaded? Well, that is extremely awkward. Uh, I got to fix that probably. All right, here we go. Ah, full 2007 first plus more. This one only has two downloads. Chalwa, I hope you didn't screw me here. I hope you have the important impact players as I bang my desk. You know, we're going to trust Chalwa. I think we've used one of his rosters or draft classes before. Chalwa, I swear to God, if this is a bad draft class, I'm going to be upset with you. Here we go. It is uh, in order. As Oh, I, even, I didn't even mention LaRon Landry, who was a beast. Also loves steroids. Fun fact about him. Let's go ahead and start with quarterback here. Jamarcus Russell. There we go. Amazing throw power. Pretty not good with everything else. Brady Quinn should not have A-plus throw power. That is ridiculous. He should have, like, B-plus. Kevin Cobb is in here. It's a shame he got injured to end his career. Drew Stanton. Troy Smith. Really. Forgot all about Troy Smith. Interesting. I find it interesting that Troy Smith is listed as Texas Tech. Obviously, I remember him with Ohio State. Did he go to Texas Tech for a time? No. Am I missing it? I think he's just wrong. He's just wrong. And Brady Quinn... Okay, oh, okay. so that's what it is. None of the colleges are close to correct. Jamarcus Russell is LSU. Brady Quinn's Notre Dame. I can't really speak on Drew Stanton, but I know he didn't go to Georgia. And I can't speak on Kevin Cobb. None of these schools are correct. Marshawn Lynch is Cal. Adrian Peterson's Oklahoma. Calvin Johnson, Georgia Tech. Ted, G uh, Ted Ginn Jr. is um, Ohio State. Dwayne Bowes, LSU. Okay, so none of these are close to correct. I will tell you where, because I'm pretty good with the colleges and the players. I'll tell you where they went uh, when we get to that, when we get to the draft, which we're going to simulate to now. So the 2006-2007 NFL season has officially come to a close, and we're back in the 2007 draft class is on the table. We pick number 19. That's not going to work. It's not going to work at all. How do the Raiders go 9-7? and seven? In what world? 
And it looks like Peterson led the NFL in sales. I would hope that's Patrick Peterson because we are adding another Adrian Peterson. And there are some players that are currently active that we're adding back into the NFL uh, all day. Adrian Peterson, Marshall Yonda is one, um, Greg Olson. There are a lot. Eric Weddle. So I might just stick at number 19. Usually I trade up to draft the studs. Actually, why would I not? I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Hold on. The Bills need a quarterback. I need the Bills to draft Jamarcus Russell because that would be hilarious. And they take Calvin Johnson. Oh, you annoy me, Bills. They take Calvin Johnson, number one overall, 85 overall. The Titans aren't taking a quarterback with Mariota. All right. They, they said they needed a quarterback for the top need. They have Josh Allen. He's trash. Who has this pick? The Titans. All right. You will give me the first pick, and in exchange, I will give you uh, Rodney Hudson. And you will decline this, and I will say, how about it, though? And then um, we're going to offer... It doesn't really matter. There's no need to commentate this, so I will just see you guys when I have the pick. We'll trade stuff that really doesn't matter. The pick has been acquired. Number two overall. And you know what? We're bringing Marshawn to Oakland again. Nah, we're not. 47740. Are you out of your mind? 477. Are you crazy? Marshawn ran like a 447. Marshawn ran a 44640. And you're going to give him 477? I'm taking Adrian Peterson. He ran 4 4 flat, if I recall. Crazy combine. Crazy top three skills. My favorite player ever out of Oklahoma. Adrian Peterson. 85 overall superstar development. 98 break tackle. 92 speed is not nice. He should have higher than 92. It should be like 90, 95, 96. I think 96 is fair for all day. Adrian Peterson. The rest I'm cool with. He honestly could take down his catching and route running a lot. I think this guy just tried to bump up the overall without figuring out how to do it. A little bit annoying on that one. But you know what? It is what it is. Number three, the Bengals take Levi Brown. Patrick Willis out of Ole Miss. Of course, not Notre Dame. Goes to the Broncos at number four. Darrell Revis. Cornerback out of... Uh, Pitt? Where'd Darrell Revis go? University of Pittsburgh. All right. I'm on the money today. Joe Thomas. Not out of LSU. Joe Thomas. Wisconsin? All right. Wisconsin. I don't know how long I can do this for some of these players. Lawrence Timmons. I'm done. Giants take Amobi Okoye. Figured they would. Just because... Giants, dude, and Jerry Reese. Uh, this would be his first draft, I believe, as Gaines Adams goes to the Seahawks. Reggie Nelson to the Miami Dolphins. Leron Landry to the Falcons. I wonder how many of these picks are going to stay stagnant as Adam Carriker goes to the Jets. It'd be cool if you could actually set the draft order to what it was without having to, like, you know, force win or force lose every single team in the league. John Beeson should be higher than a 78. He should be, like, an 80 one probably in my opinion he was such a beast coming out of college colt go leon hall he was in this class too wow a lot of good players i just didn't see as jamarcus russell staying on the board they gave ted ginn some pretty nice stats i'm gonna be honest for what ted ginn is eric weddle in the second round is a must draft because eric weddle is great who would we want is marshall yonda in this draft class i would hope so did he not include Marshall Yonda? You gotta be kidding me. I know he didn't go already. Come on, guy. Just look at the pro bowlers. Oh, he's listed at left tackle. Interesting. Marshall Yonda was drafted as a tackle coming out of Iowa. You know what? My bad. I don't remember him ever playing tackle in the NFL. So apologies. That's my bad. You know what? Ted Ginn looks ridiculous. We're taking Ted Ginn. He's a 78 overall, and Ted Ginn took a while to really get better. And they just gave him amazing route running, which Ted Ginn's not a route runner, by the way. He's just fast. And terrible catching, which is fair. 
Ted Ginn has a case of the dropsies every time he goes out on the field. He was also a great returner, so I'm glad to see they gave him good uh, ball carrier stats. Good for that. I like that. So go ahead and finish the next round. Greg Olson, 85 overall. Good lord. He should be like 83, in my opinion. Goes to the Ravens, who have already a ton of tight ends. Jarvis Moss to the Panthers. Paul Pluszlesny to the Chiefs. Bears take Marshawn Lynch. Oh, boy. Keelan McKillian goes to the Steelers. Tony Ugo to the Rams. Ben Grubbs, a.k.a. Devin Wade in the game. That's what face you chose. <laughs> the long shot story. The Jags take Justin Durant. The Jags actually took Justin Durant. That's cool. Patriots go Sidney Rice. It feels like a match made in heaven. Dwayne Bow to the Browns. Packers go Jamal Anderson. And the Redskins go Jorge Combs. Chargers finish things off with Thaddeus Casey, as we will simulate to our pick. Josh Wilson just went before us. Tell me Eric Weddle is still available. That's who I want. He's not. Eric Weddle was taken. Okay, so who's available at this point? Anyone particularly good? You know who the play is? It's absolutely going to be Marshall Yonda. Marshall Yonda got drafted. Doug Free's here. Doug Free was actually good for a few years at the Cowboys. Not amazing. Played right tackle after uh, moving over from the left side when Tyron Smith arrived in 2011. Another good draft class. Was it? No, 2010. 2010 for Tyron Smith out of USC. No, it was 2011, you, you dingus. All right, unfortunate. I should have just trusted my, my gut instinct. You know what? For the memes, welcome back to Oakland, Jamarcus Russell. 71 overall, 99 throw power, decent accuracy, actually. Normal dev should be superstar. Obviously, we all know Jamarcus Russell developed into a be, or into being a beast. It's common knowledge. Oh, Jermon Bushrod's at 81 overall. That's fun. A little high for him. There aren't a ton of actual players in this class that I like. We're good at. And Deshaun Goldson should have way better hit power than C. By the way, it was like all he was good at. We're taking Deshaun Goldson. 78 overall, really. 87 speed, 78 zone, 74 hit power. It should be like 87 speed, 94 hit power, 76 zone coverage. I'd like that. This is just not entirely accurate to the player that Deshaun Goldson was, but he does feel like an Oakland Raiders style player. We're keeping him on the West Coast, keeping him around the Bay with Oakland, you know, of course, San Francisco 49er. As uh, we're running out of real players to draft. All right. Notice, oh, Terrell Brown. Terrell Brown was in this class. Hook him horns, baby. Terrell Brown was indeed drafted in 2007. We're going to come back for him. We're going to take William Gay first. William Gay was great with the Steelers for a while. 79 overall. Seems really high for William Gay. But you know what? I'll take it. And then we're going to come back in the fifth round. I hope to God that Terrell Brown's still available. I really hope he is. As Farrington Atkinson, a cornerback, goes... Show me Terrell Brown. He's gone. No. Why would I take William Gay over the Texas Longhorn Terrell Brown? I'll never know. All right. We're running out of any real, like, talented player here. It's just filled up with randoms at this point for the most part. So we are going to go ahead and simulate. And I will see you guys for the draft recap. All right. Draft recap. Here we are. What's going on here? Adrian Peterson, of course, we took. We had a really good draft class. I think this entire draft, though, was pretty stacked in terms of overall. The guy was pretty generous, which I don't particularly mind. It's better than having, like, all wrong grades because players are not good enough. And there are a lot of 85s in this class. I don't mind Calvin being an 85. I don't mind Adrian Peterson or Patrick Willis or Darrell Rivas or Joe Thomas. Greg Olson should be, like, an 83. Marshall Yonda around the same. Marshawn at 84. Should probably be like an 81, if I'm being honest. He just wasn't that good in Buffalo. Doug Free was pretty high. Jermon Brusherod, Reggie Nelson, Laron Landry. Where is Eric Weddle? Eric Weddle was an 80. Brandon Merriweather was in this class. I didn't even see him. I didn't even see Joe Staley, I don't think. 79, he was taken. I guess I did see him. I had to have. I had to have said it. Dwayne Bowe, 79. Ryan Khalil, I don't remember mentioning him, but he's a 79. He was a good player. Tim Crowder is kind of a high overall. Lamar Woodley at 78 feels right. Lawrence Timmons, same deal. 
John Beeson should be higher. John Beeson was so good at the start of his career. Like, he was up there in terms of best linebacker in the NFL when he first started out. Three-time Pro Bowler, 08 to 2010. Three-time Pro Bowler in those years, obviously. First-team All-Pro, 2008. Second-team All-Pro, 2009. John Beeson was a monster. He was so good. I loved it when the Giants got him, which he actually was pretty good, but he didn't really play for that long um, with the Giants, and he was out a lot with injuries. Only played nine career games with the Giants, but he was one of my favorite players. I love this entire draft class. I really do. Patrick Willis is a top 10 favorite player of mine all time. Adrian Peterson is top one. Saying that, I like John Beeson a lot too. Um, but he retired early at like 30. Same thing with Patrick Willis. Sean Goldson was up near the top. Terrell Brown. Terrell Brown was a 78. How good was he? 91 speed, 87 mat, 81 zone. This was a good draft class. I mean, obviously it was a good draft class. Oh, Ahmad Bradshaw. Totally forgot about Ahmad Bradshaw being in there. But yeah, this was a lot of fun. Really was. Drew Stanton, 76, was pretty generous. Michael Griffin should be closer to 80, as some of these other players are. But yeah, that's pretty much the draft class, guys. Let's go ahead and see how these players perform on their due teams as far as... It's pretty much just Offensive Rookie of the Year and Defensive Rookie of the Year. I gotta turn injury off, but I will see you guys at the end of the season to check over some stats. So my man John Gruden here, unfortunately missed out on the playoffs. He's back to using the computer, trying to learn that for the first time. You guys already know John Gruden types with one finger. <laughs> I love John Gruden. Great commentator, in my opinion. He's been doing something with the Raiders. We'll see how it turns out over time. He wants his own players. I get that. The Raiders are 3-13, and 13, which is not great. We'll check out the stats of our rookies and see how they perform. Derek Carr um, performed about as well as you'd expect him to. Not that good of a quarterback, in my opinion. Feel free to disagree. But AP, we should have made it way more run central. About 1,200, 1200 yards, four touchdowns. Average 4.6 per carry, which is great. But the touchdowns aren't there at all. And the yards could be better. Ted Ginn, 69 catches. Nice. 680 yards, only one touchdown. Who else did we draft? We drafted some defense, right? William Gay, as a cornerback, led our entire team in tackles with 103. Also had two picks and half a sack and five tackles for loss. Deshaun Goldson, one interception, probably no forced fumble, zero. 69 tackles, nice. I'm loving this. Dude. This is the nicest team, let me tell you. Let's go ahead and see how these guys stack up against some of the other rookies in the NFL. Anyone, any rookie in the MVP talk? No. Don't care about Coach of the Year. AFC Offense Player of the Year is Baker Mayfield. Leonard Fournette is not a rookie. What is going on? Oh, that's Offense Player of the Year. I, I'm like, what is going on? I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> Offensive Rookie of the Year is Adrian Peterson. Sidney Rice, number two. Dwayne Bowe, number three. Calvin Johnson, number four. Uh, Greg Olson, number six. Ted Ginn, seven. Robert Meacham, eight. And that is pretty much it. Defensive Rookie of the Year is Leon Hall, of all players. Not Patrick Willis, who's up to a 91 overall, finished number two. William Gay, three. Reggie Nelson, four. Paul Pozzelzny, five. Terrell Brown, seven. Josh Wilson, nine. Deshaun Goldson, ten. Let's check out the NFC Offensive Rookie of the Year. Ahmad Bradshaw, no way. <laughs> what happened to Todd Gurley? What happened to Todd Gurley? Did all the rookies who are real go into the AFC, by the way? Marshawn Lynch, number eight. Defensive rookie of the year goes to Anthony Spencer, who was actually great with the Cowboys for a few years. John Beast, number two. Jarrell Revis, three. Brandon Merriweather, four. Eric Weddle, five. Corey Graham, seven. Jarvis Moss, eight. Lamar Woodley, ten. Not bad. That was pretty fun. I love going to these draft classes. It's awesome to see Adrian Peterson back into his prime. Five skill points for him as well. That's always really fun. But uh, yeah, guys, I think that's pretty much going to do it for me. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next one. Make sure in the comment section below, let me know which draft class to do next. I'll try to do it. And I will actually see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Subscribe if you're new. Do all those good things, please.